Greetings from National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine. And we are starting a series on palliative care. Goal number 3 of SDGs 2030 is good health and well being. Good health points towards healthy citizens, a disease free society, whereas well being points towards their quality of life, which is only possible through palliative care. When we talk about palliative care, it is negligible across the country, whereas it can address a majority of people who are suffering from tremendous pain as well as agonizing symptoms. Palliative care can be an answer to improve the quality of life of such patients who are suffering in distress. I am Dr. Piyush Gupta, Secretary of National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine and Secretary of Cancer Aid Society, India. So, today we are talking about the principles of palliative care. The course has been designed by more than 35 faculties across the country and the course director is Dr. Geeta Joshi, Chief Executive Officer of Community Oncology Center, the Gujarat Cancer Society, Ahmedabad. And she is former professor and head of Department of Palliative Medicine, Gujarat Cancer and Research Institute, Ahmedabad. She is also president of National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine, Gujarat chapter. So, palliative care has OPD services, home care services, IPD services and it is really a fantastic thing practiced not only by doctors, but volunteers, nurses and all sort of professionals can contribute in improving and provision of palliative care facilities to the patients. Ravi, a 25 year old man fell from coconut tree 6 months ago, underwent an operation on the back, he becomes paraplegic following surgery. Doctors say take him home, nothing more can be done. Ravi is now bedridden, he develops bed sores wounds with a smelling discharge. He has lots of pain, cannot lie on his back, stress. He and his family members do not know what to do now. Do you agree with the doctor's remark that nothing can be done for now? Palliative care always has a yes for everything. So, meaning of the words palliation and hospice. History of palliative care from western world, India and Kerala and principles of palliative, the WHO definition we will be covering, why, who, when, where and how, we will be trying to address all these questions. Meaning of the words we have already what we focus on the health is the tip of the iceberg, whereas what we see is occupational health, social health, mental health, environmental health and these are all ignored. We can always be healthy through physical health that is diet and exercise. What is palliation? It has derived, have been derived from Latin verb pallier to palliate means to cause something to appear less serious or offensive, to relieve the symptoms of a disease without curing it. What is a hospice? Hospice is derived from Latin word hospitum which means hospitality. It is a resting place for people who are very sick and dying. 
it is different from hospital which is a healthcare facility for active medical treatment so 86% of people who need palliative care they do not receive it globally in the western world dame cicely saunders she was a nurse and she conceived palliative care as well as the concept of hospice in india shanti avedna satan mumbai was the first hospice and community oncology center was started in ahmedabad subsequently the concept in palliative care originated in kerala in 1999 and ever since kerala is leading the country when it comes to palliative care dr is a well known figure and is known as father of palliative care movement in india he has received the padam shri recently who definition says that palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families facing the problems associated with life threatening illnesses through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems which may be physical psychosocial as well as spiritual the motto is to comfort always palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of the patients and their families facing the problems associated with life threatening illnesses that is cancer kidney heart liver diseases tb hiv aids old age paraplegia etc the list is everlasting through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems which include physical psychosocial as well as spiritual it is the care which addresses the well being of the whole person so here we can see that the mind of the person is involved the body has the physical dimension and we also consider the spiritual aspect of the patient so palliative care tries to have a holistic approach where we take care about the vocational needs the intellectual needs the social needs financial needs physical needs emotional needs and overall the spiritual needs of the what is good quality of life and what is good palliative care is a question good quality palliative care can be defined as the care which i would be happy to have given to a member of my own family if he or she was dying or to receive myself when my time comes to an end these are the words from dame cicely saunders why do we need palliative care change in disease demographics is there increased incidence of lifestyle diseases like hypertension diabetes stroke kidney lung and liver diseases there is rise in incidence of cancer and HIV. patients report for treatment in very advanced and incurable stages they cannot be treated hence palliative care is the only answer the life expectancy has increased in 1990 it was almost 57.86 years and in 2017 it increased to 69.16 years change in dying process most of the people 
die in hospital. That means, we are increasing the cost of, we might not have spent even a fraction of all the costs involved in death of a person during the entire course of living of this person towards health, health treatment costs. Less than 10 percent are sudden unexpected, they cause by MI accident and death is normally now considered as a medical failure. So, even when a person is dying in case of chronic illnesses, so doctor tries to give interventions, latest interventions. Is there any point on taking the patient on a ventilator who is already suffering from disease, end care diseases like cancer? is not going to be treated is simply increase cost of death and increasing his sufferings by a few days. So, every year more than 20 million people patients need palliative care at the end of life. This number doubles if palliative care starts at early stage of disease further increase if we conclude include the caregivers. 69 percent of them are 60 years of age and above and some 6 percent of these are even children. 80 percent of these are in low and middle income countries. So, first of all global atlas identifies unmet need for palliative care. This was in 2014. Only 1 in 10 people who need palliative care has access to palliative care services is the scenario right now. In India, 3 or 4 persons, they get palliative care in every 1000 population. Patients suffering from life limiting illnesses elderly people, people with disability, children with chronic illnesses need palliative care. So, some of the conditions which require palliative care they are cancer, HIV and AIDS, dementia, progressive neurological disorders, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, motor neuron disease, stroke and stage organ diseases, lung heart, kidney and liver, old age, old people they are dying as a consequence of aging processes and degenerative conditions related to aging. When to start palliative care has been a question. So, the old concept was that it should be curative we should try to cure and when we fail, we should give palliative care. Whereas, the in the present scenario, palliative care starts from the very beginning from the detection of diseases. So, once we can try for prevention, but after that once a diagnosis is confirmed. So, palliative care starts from the very first day, whereas the palliative care is limited very little. However, you find that cure should be given to such a patient. So, treatment is the main focus of the doctors. Certainly, we should start palliative care at this juncture, although in very low volume. As the disease increases, so this palliative care component increases and slowly and slowly curative treatment decreases. With the death of the patient, we have to give bereavement exercise. So, when a person is closer to death, he or she can be taken to a hospice 
rather than hospital because that is certainly not advisable. What is different about palliative care? So, we have two aspects of disease management. One is disease management and the other one is symptom control. The holo holistic care it involves the treatment portion, the symptom control and psychosocial care. And here we involve the patient as well as the caregiver. So, this is the holistic and once and we will say that palliative care has an answer that there is always something which I can do. Where palliative care can be gin, given? It can be given at OPDs, it ca can be given in IPDs, it can be given at daycare units and it is also possible at home. So, that is the home care. How is it delivered? So, we have a spiritual gurus, it is a team approach basically, the clinical psychologist is there, Ayush specialists are there, physiotherapist may be there, volunteers are there, nurses are there, physicians are also there and social workers are there. So, basically it is a team approach. How palliative care is given? So, pain management is the priority. So, it is given as per WHO ladder. We should give oral morphine whenever and wherever required. So, again availability of oral morphine should be ensured, interventions wherever possible. Symptom control, controlling the nausea, vomiting, anorexia, dyspnea, cough, delirium, dysphagia, bowel and bladder or I am go 30 minutes normally up. So, the patient and family is involved through comprehensive medical care, the care, multidisciplinary team is involved and again